I feel like I've lived so many lives already, you know, looking back at all of that stuff. And, oh, yeah, I mean, I could write volumes on probably every experience around every song that I've ever released. Shania Twain's life and career have been a roller coaster ride of triumphs and tribulations, marked by soaring highs and devastating lows. From humble beginnings in a small town in Ontario, Canada, to becoming one of the best-selling female artists in music history, Shania's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. But amidst the glitz and glamour of her meteoric rise to fame, Shania has faced her fair share of challenges, including personal heartbreak, health struggles, and the loss of her voice. But through sheer determination and unwavering resilience, Shania has emerged from the darkest moments of her life as a symbol of empowerment and strength. Today, we'll delve into the remarkable story of how Shania Twain rose above adversity, reclaiming her voice and her place in the spotlight as an enduring icon of triumph and resilience. Facts First presents Shania Twain is reclaiming her life one song at a time. Early Life Shania Twain, born Eileen Regina Edwards, on August 28, 1965, in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, had a childhood marked by both hardship and a deep connection to music. She was raised in Timmins, Ontario, a small town known for its mining industry. She was the second oldest of five siblings in a financially struggling household. Her parents, Sharon and Clarence Edwards, faced financial instability as well as a tumultuous relationship. They split when Shania was quite young, and Sharon married a man named Jerry. Shania revealed later on that Jerry was abusive with both her mother and her, and yet she was still devastated when Sharon and Jerry died in a tragic car accident when Shania was only 22. Despite the difficulties she faced, music became a significant part of Shania's early life. Growing up, she often found solace in singing and songwriting, using music as an outlet for her emotions. And despite the troubles she faced with her stepfather, she still credits him with introducing her to country music. Her introduction to performing came at a young age, as she often sang in local bars and clubs to help support her family financially. Her mother used to sneak her into local bars after the alcohol was no longer being served. Shania would get up on the counter and start performing for whomever was still in the bar. <laughs> uh, but kind of like that bar counter, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I was three when I did that. Wow. And, uh, Good thing it didn't fall off. That was my first stage, you know, my first, my first little stage. So. These early experiences on stage honed her skills as a performer and solidified her love for music. Despite her young age, she demonstrated a remarkable stage presence and vocal prowess, drawing attention wherever she performed. The Edwards family faced frequent moves during Shania's childhood due to her father's job in the mining industry, which added an element of instability to her upbringing. But these experiences exposed Shania to different environments and cultures, shaping her worldview and influencing her musical style. Her childhood experiences laid the foundation for her remarkable journey in music. Blossoming as a Teenager During her teenage years, Shania Twain, still known as Eileen Edwards, continued to navigate the challenges of her upbringing while also nurturing her passion for music. With her parents' passing and her family's financial struggles, Shania took on various jobs to help support herself and her siblings. As a teen, she delved deeper into songwriting, using it as a means of expression and catharsis. She drew inspiration from her personal experiences, including the loss of her parents and the hardships her family faced. Writing songs became a therapeutic outlet for her emotions, allowing her to channel her feelings into her music. Music is my great escape. It's the me time. It is my isolation time. Sure. Um, it's kind of, it's just a time where I can get lost in my songwriting and forget about the rest of the world for a little bit. Songwriting is this creative space where I can just make up whatever it is I want to feel. I, I want to, I can create my mood, I can set the tone, I can express. It's, it is my genuine therapy. So yeah, that's, it's my go-to, it's my self-help. Shania's musical influences continued to expand during her teenage years. While her stepfather introduced her to country music, she also developed a love for rock and pop genres, blending these influences into her own unique style. 
Her diverse musical tastes later contributed to the crossover appeal of her music, attracting fans from various backgrounds. Despite the challenges she faced, Shania remained determined to pursue a career in music. She continued to perform at local venues, honing her craft, and gaining valuable experience as a performer. Her talent and dedication began to attract attention, laying the groundwork for future success. In her late teens, she made the bold decision to pursue her musical aspirations full-time, moving to Toronto to further her career. This move marked a pivotal moment in her life as she embarked on a journey to pursue her dreams in the competitive music industry. Her career begins. Shania Twain's early career was marked by both perseverance and setbacks as she navigated the challenging landscape of the music industry. In Toronto, she initially struggled to gain traction. She faced rejection from record labels and encountered numerous obstacles in her quest to establish herself as an artist. Undeterred, she continued to hone her craft, performing at local venues and working odd jobs to support herself. These days, when she reflects on how she managed to push through early on, she says she relied on her abilities. Shania's talent and determination eventually caught the attention of music executives. In 1993, she released her self-titled debut album, Shania Twain, which garnered some attention but failed to make significant impact commercially. The album's lackluster performance left Shania feeling discouraged, but she remained determined to succeed in the industry. It was her second album, The Woman in Me, released in 1995, that proved her breakthrough. The album, produced by rock producer Robert John Mutt Lang, showcased Shania's unique blend of country, pop, and rock influences that featured hit singles like Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under and Any Man of Mine. The Woman in Me catapulted Shania to stardom, earning her critical acclaim and commercial success. The album went on to sell millions of copies worldwide, establishing Shania as a bona fide superstar. Becoming a Superstar From 1995 through 2005, she experienced an unprecedented rise to fame and cemented her status as one of the most successful and influential artists in the music industry. Following the breakout success of her 95 album, The Woman and Me, she continued to dominate the charts and captivate audiences worldwide. Her third studio album, Come On Over, released in 1997, became a cultural phenomenon. With hit singles like You're Still the One, From This Moment On, and Man, I Feel Like a Woman, the album showcased Shania's versatility as an artist and her ability to effortlessly blend country, pop, and rock elements. Come On Over shattered records, becoming the best-selling studio album by a female artist in any genre and one of the best-selling albums of all time. One enduring song from the album was the smash hit That Don't Impress Me Much, and perhaps the biggest reason it was such a talked-about song was its reference to Brad Pitt. It's been a topic of many interview questions for Shania over the years. Interestingly enough, she didn't have a great reason for putting him in there. In an interview with Smooth Country, she said, quote, I know this doesn't sound like a very thoughtful reason, but when you're a songwriter, you're always drawing from inspiration. A lot of that inspiration is whatever it is that's around you. I take everything in very peripherally. And Brad Pitt's photo and name was just everywhere at the time. And the lyric that I was looking for, the syllable flow of it was perfect, short and sweet. Brad Pitt. I had no connection to Brad Pitt and still have no connection to Brad Pitt. I don't know how he feels about it or whatever, but we're both still around after all these years, which I think is a kind of cool parallel. During this period, Shania embarked on her first headlining tour, the Come On Over Tour, which further solidified her status as a global superstar. Her electrifying performances and magnetic stage presence captivated audiences around the world, earning her widespread acclaim as a live performer. She also made a significant impact beyond the realm of music. She became a fashion icon known for her bold and glamorous style and appeared in high-profile advertising campaigns for brands like Revlon. Her crossover appeal and undeniable charisma helped her transcend the boundaries of genre and establish herself as a cultural phenomenon. Her battle with Lyme disease Shania Twain's battle with Lyme disease was a challenging and deeply personal struggle that profoundly impacted her life and career. Lyme disease is a bacterial infection transmitted to humans through the bite of infected black-legged ticks. Shania's experience with the disease began in the early 2000s when she started experiencing mysterious symptoms that ultimately changed the course of her life. 
The early symptoms of Lyme disease can vary widely and often mimic those of other illnesses, making it difficult to diagnose. She initially experienced fatigue, muscle aches, and flu-like symptoms, which she initially attributed to the rigors of her demanding schedule as a touring musician. However, as her symptoms persisted and worsened, she knew something more serious was at play. After seeking medical attention, Shania was diagnosed with Lyme disease, a revelation that came as a shock to her and her loved ones. Lyme disease can be challenging due to those nonspecific symptoms and the lack of a definitive diagnostic test. Shania's diagnosis underscored the importance of raising awareness about the disease and advocating for better treatment and prevention measures. One of the most devastating consequences of Lyme disease for Shania was the impact it had on her voice. As a singer and performer, losing her voice was not just a physical setback, but also a profound emotional and psychological blow. Shania's voice, once her most powerful instrument, became weakened and strained, robbing her of the ability to sing with the same strength and clarity as before. I was so trapped in this dysfunctional voice. The loss of my voice, oh my god, this was like... It was like losing, it was like a death. It was like something that I really believed I would never get back again, that that was it. The loss of her voice had far-reaching implications for Shania, affecting every aspect of her life and career. As a performer, she struggled to deliver the same dynamic performances that had endeared her to millions of fans worldwide. The emotional toll of watching her voice falter on stage, once her source of strength and expression, weighed heavily on Shania's spirit. Beyond the stage, she grappled with feelings of frustration, isolation, and despair as she navigated the challenges of living with Lyme disease. The physical symptoms of the illness, coupled with the emotional toll of her voice loss, tested her resilience and resolve in ways she had never imagined. Despite the immense challenges she faced, Shania refused to let Lyme disease define her. With unwavering determination and the support of loved ones, she embarked on a journey of healing and recovery, seeking out alternative treatments and therapies to regain her health and reclaim her voice. Her Tragic Marriage Shania Twain's marriage to Robert John Mutt Lang was a significant chapter in her life that was marked by both love and heartbreak. Their relationship began in the early 90s, shortly after Shania's self-titled debut album was released. Mutt, a highly successful music producer known for his work with artists like Def Leppard and ACDC, was immediately impressed by Shania's talent and unique musical style. The couple met when Mutt reached out to Shania to discuss potentially collaborating on her music. Their connection was instantaneous, and they quickly bonded over their shared passion for music and mutual respect for each other's talents. Despite their age difference, Mutt was nearly 20 years older than Shania, the couple found common ground and forged a deep emotional connection. Their courtship was whirlwind, characterized by romantic gestures and a shared enthusiasm for their musical partnership. Mutt played a pivotal role in shaping Shania's sound, helping her refine her songwriting and production techniques. Their collaboration would prove immensely successful, laying the foundation for Shania's groundbreaking albums and catapulting her to superstardom. In December 1993, Shania and Mutt tied the knot in a private ceremony in New Zealand, where Mutt was from. The couple exchanged vows, surrounded by their closest friends and family, solidifying their commitment to each other and shared future. Their marriage seemed like a fairy tale come true, with Shania often describing Mutt as her soulmate and biggest supporter. But their seemingly idyllic marriage was shattered in 2008 when Shania discovered that Mutt was having an affair with her close friend Marie Ann Thibault. The betrayal devastated Shania, who was blindsided by the revelation and struggled to come to terms with the end of her marriage. The emotional fallout from Mutt's infidelity took a toll on Shania's mental and physical well-being, plunging her into a period of deep sadness and turmoil. Not surprisingly, the tragedy of her divorce has made its way onto her songs. In 2018, she talked with Dan Rather about the themes of her then-latest album. And while she was clear to say it wasn't a divorce album, per se, the disillusion of their marriage was particularly painful for Shania, as it coincided with her battle with Lyme disease, leaving her feeling vulnerable and alone. Despite the heartbreak, Shania found the strength to rebuild her life and eventually found love again with Frederick Thibault, Marie Anne's ex-husband, whom she married in 2011. Disappearing from the music scene 
After facing the dual challenges of battling Lyme disease and enduring the emotional turmoil of her divorce from Mutt Lang, Shania Twain faced a difficult period of personal and professional upheaval. These challenges took a significant toll on her physical and emotional well-being, prompting her to take a step back from the spotlight and focus on her health and healing. Shania's struggles with Lyme disease had a profound impact on her ability to perform and record music. The loss of her voice, once her most powerful instrument, left her feeling vulnerable and uncertain about her future in the music industry. As she grappled with the physical symptoms of the illness and the emotional fallout from her divorce, Shania made the difficult decision to step away from the music scene to prioritize her well-being. During her hiatus from the spotlight, Shania focused on her recovery, seeking out alternative treatments and therapies to manage her symptoms and regain her health. She also leaned on the support of her loved ones, including family and close friends, who stood by her side during this challenging time. Emotionally, Shania struggled to come to terms with the upheaval in her personal life and the loss of her voice as a performer. The uncertainty about her future weighed heavily on her spirit as she grappled with feelings of self-doubt and insecurity. But she remained determined to overcome adversity and emerge stronger than ever. Despite her absence from the music scene, her influence and impact remained undeniable. Her iconic songs continued to resonate with fans around the world, and her legacy as one of the most successful and influential artists of her generation endured. A Major Comeback since her return to the music scene in 2011 with the release of her album Now, Shania Twain has continued to make waves in the industry, solidifying her status as a legendary figure in country and pop. Her career from 2011 onwards has been characterized by a renewed sense of creativity, resilience, and artistic exploration. Her Las Vegas residency, titled Shania Still the One, which ran from December 2012 to December 2014, was a monumental event that showcased her enduring legacy. Taking place at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace, the residency marked a triumphant return to the stage for Shania, following a lengthy hiatus from touring and performing. Still the One was a testament to her unparalleled talent as a performer and her ability to captivate audiences with her infectious energy and magnetic stage presence. The residency provided fans with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience Shania's music in an intimate and immersive setting, with state-of-the-art sound and lighting enhancing the overall concert experience. Now, released in September 2017, marked Shania's first studio album in 15 years. The album was a deeply personal project for Shania, reflecting her journey of self-discovery and resilience in the face of adversity. With tracks like Life's About to Get Good and Swingin' With My Eyes Closed, Shania delivered an album that resonated with both longtime fans and new listeners alike, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. In addition to releasing new music, Shania embarked on a highly successful tour in support of Now, marking her first headlining tour in over a decade. The Now tour saw Shania performing to sold-out crowds across North America and Europe, showcasing her electrifying stage presence and timeless hits. She did a second residency in Las Vegas called Let's Go. Sadly, many of the dates were canceled due to the COVID pandemic. Beyond her music career, she's continued to explore other creative endeavors. In 2019, she made her acting debut in the film Trading Paint, starring alongside John Travolta. The role allowed Shania to showcase her versatility as an artist and further expand her presence in the entertainment industry. As she's continued her touring in later years, she's been thrilled by the reception of not only longtime fans, but also Shania's impact extends beyond the realm of music, as she remains an influential figure and cultural icon. In 2011, she released her memoir, From This Moment On, which offered fans an intimate glimpse into her life and career. The book became a New York Times bestseller, further solidifying her status as a beloved and enduring figure in popular culture. The Latest In 2022 and 2023, Shania Twain released new music that reinforced her status as a country and pop music icon. The highlight of this period was her sixth studio album, Queen of Me, which was released on February 3, 2023. This marked her first album since now in 2017 and her debut with Republic Records, diverging from her long-standing relationship with Mercury Nashville. Notably, Queen of Me also became her first album to carry a parental advisory label. She talked about how the album was a perfect match for her current state of being. 
The Queen of Me title for the new album is, it couldn't be more fitting for where I'm really at in my own mind. Queen of Me received mixed reviews, with some critics noting Twain's enthusiastic performance and the high spirits conveyed through the album, despite commenting on the production's overwhelming presence at times. It debuted impressively across several key markets. In Canada, it secured a number two spot on the Canadian album chart, and in the U.S., it entered the Billboard 200 at number 10, marking Twain's sixth top 10 album in the country. It also achieved a number one position on the UK Albums Chart, her third album to do so, and charted within the top five in Australia and Switzerland, among others. And Shania announced her third Las Vegas residency, set to begin in 2024. This follows her successful Queen of Me tour in 2023, supporting the album of the same name, which featured both new songs from Queen of Me and classics from her extensive discography. The tour set list varied slightly from location to location, but consistently included hits like Giddy Up from her latest album, alongside timeless favorites like Man, I Feel Like a Woman and You're Still the One. Twain's continued presence in the music scene, through both her new releases and live performances, highlights her enduring appeal and adaptability as an artist. Her upcoming Las Vegas residency promises to be another milestone in her illustrious career, offering fans both new and old a chance to experience her music live. Female Empowerment and Rising Up Shania Twain's relevance as a singer and artist transcends mere musical accomplishments. She embodies the essence of resilience, empowerment, and triumph over adversity. Her journey from the lowest points in her life back to stardom serves as a powerful testament to the human spirit and has resonated deeply with fans around the world. As an artist, her impact extends far beyond her chart-topping hits and record-breaking albums. Her music has served as a source of inspiration and empowerment for countless listeners, particularly women who found strength and solace in her anthems of self-confidence, independence, and resilience. Recently, she opined about the times we live in and how things are for women. In an interview with The Independent, she said, quote, This is a historically challenging time for women to find space in many, many realms. I hope I can give other women the confidence not to fear feeling comfortable in their own skin, to refuse to be intimidated by anyone. It's a right, and you need to own that. Throughout her career, Shania has fearlessly challenged conventions and defied expectations, blazing a trail for female artists in the traditionally male-dominated country music industry. With her bold and unapologetic approach to songwriting and performance, she shattered stereotypes and paved the way for a new generation of women in music. At the lowest point in her life, when faced with the devastating challenges of Lyme disease and the disillusion of her marriage, Shania demonstrated remarkable courage and resilience. Despite the immense personal and professional setbacks she encountered, she refused to be defined by her circumstances and instead embraced her struggles as opportunities for growth and transformation. Her triumphant return to the spotlight in 2011 symbolized her resilience and determination to overcome adversity. Through her music, she shared her journey of self-discovery and empowerment, inspiring others to embrace their own inner strength and persevere in the face of hardship. As a cultural icon, Shania Twain continues to serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for fans around the world. Her rise from the lowest point in her life back to stardom exemplifies the power of resilience, determination, and the unwavering belief in oneself. And with each song, Shania reminds us no obstacle is insurmountable and that even in our darkest moments, there's always hope for a brighter tomorrow. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your favorite Shania Twain songs? Let us know in the comments section below.